and we're nice and warm, and we are really excited to welcome tonight's very special guests. Now, 34 years ago, of course, this, the Kennyville stage, is where the Wave Striker once stood in 1988, the summer of 1988. Of course, the summer the Kennywood Memories was filmed. And of course, the star, you can't help but think of the Wave Striker. Who do you think of? And if we all know, we think of Beth. So please, put a very big Kennywood welcome together, hands together for Beth Stawgrass. Here she is, back to Kennywood. Hi, good evening. Happy holidays, and thank you so much for having me here tonight. And I'm here tonight to read to you, "Twas the Night Before Christmas. <laughs> Twas the night before Christmas, when all through the house, not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care, in hopes that St. Nicholas soon would be there. The children were nestled, all snug in their beds, while visions of sugar plums danced in their heads. And Mama in her kerchief, and I in my cap, had just settled down for a long winter's nap. When out on the lawn there arose such a clatter, I sprang from my bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window I flew like a flash, tore open the shutters, and threw open the sash. The moon on the breast of the new fallen snow gave the luster of midday to objects below, when what to my wondering eye should appear but a miniature sleigh and eight tiny reindeer. With a little old driver so lively and quick, I knew in a moment it must be St. Nick. More rapid than eagles, his coursers they came, and he whistled and shouted, and he called them by name. Now Dasher, now Dancer, now Prancer and Vixen, on Comet, on Cupid, on Donner and Blitzen, to the top of the porch, to the top of the wall. Now dash away, dash away, dash away all. As dry leaves that before the wild hurricane fly, when they meet with an obstacle, mount to the sky. So up to the housetop, the coursers they flew with the sleigh full of toys and St. Nicholas too. And then in a twinkling, I heard on the roof the prancing and pawing of each tiny hoof. As I drew in my head what was turning around, down the chimney, St. Nicholas came with a bound. He was dressed in all fur from his head to his foot, and his clothes were all tarnished with ashes and soot. A bundle of toys he had flung on his back, and he looked like a peddler just opening his pack. His eyes, how they twinkled, his dimples, how merry. His cheeks were like roses, his nose like a cherry. His droll little mouth was drawn up like a bow, and the beard of his chin was as white as the snow. The stump of a pipe he held tight in his teeth, and the smoke encircled his head like a wreath. He had a broad face and a little round belly that shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. He was chubby and plump, a right jolly old elf, and I laughed when I saw him in spite of myself. A wink of his eye and a twist of his head soon gave me to know I had nothing to dread. He spoke not a word, but went straight to his work, and filled all the stockings, then turned with a jerk, and laying his finger aside of his nose, and giving a nod, up the chimney he rose. 
He sprang to his sleigh, to his team gave a whistle, and away they all flew like the down of a thistle. But I heard him exclaim ere he drove out of sight. Merry Christmas to all, and to all a good night. The end. <laughs> everybody give it up for Beth again for joining us tonight. <laughs> Thank you. Now, everybody, stay right there. Whenever we were in the back, we were talking about, you know, how it all came to be, how you were part of the show, and, you know, how um, Rick and his crew were filming over at Noah's Ark that day, and I thought that was so cool, and, you know, the story, and they were telling me about it, but there's no one really better to tell the story of how Beth got to be part of Kennywood Memories than Rick himself. Everybody, please welcome Rick Seaback. I was young and you looked over at me and you said hey and I said hey what are you guys doing and you said we're filming a documentary on Kennywood and I said well that's more interesting than my job <laughs> and you said well I, we're gonna come film you and I said well that would be great <laughs> well, well you know during the pandemic I started walking and I, I live in Regent Square and I walk around Regent Square a lot and one morning I was at a corner and this uh, a truck came by a pickup truck and the guy, it stopped, and the guy looked up and said, are you Rick Seaback? And I said, I am. He goes, I was the manager of the Wave Swinger. Oh, my gosh, it was Chris. Chris. <laughs> and uh, so we talked for a while. I took a picture of him that day, uh, and I think he works for uh, Disney World now. Wow. So he, he was here from Florida. He had a girlfriend there in Regent Square. Okay, perfect. And I think that possibly uh, Kennywood Memories has inspired a lot of people to work at Kennywood and amusement parks everywhere. Yeah, right. I think this 34 years ago is amazing. It seems like yesterday. It does. <laughs> I've aged a little bit. <laughs> We've all aged a little bit. Okay. <laughs> but it's wonderful memories. And it's, it's very nice. And I thought this was brilliant to have you come do this tonight. Well, I think it's brilliant that you showed up. <laughs> so. I'll be back on December 17th to do I the saw same that. thing. I saw that. It's a very nice surprise that you're here tonight. Hey. <laughs> I can't remember the first time I did it, but I bet I've been doing it for at least five years, maybe longer. Oh, well, wow. And I just got here tonight? <laughs> but it's always fun. It's always interesting, and I love the lights. So. Oh, I love it. It's beautiful, and I encourage everyone to come. I, and I think this is the most decorated Noah's Ark has ever been. It's beautiful. I, I could be wrong. It's, it's the best. <laughs> yeah, it's really so pretty. It's thank nice. you all for coming tonight. Yeah, thank you. All right. More can you remember? Yeah. <laughs> hey, everybody, give it up one more time for both Beth you. and Rick for joining us tonight. Thank you. Like Rick said, he'll be back December 17th. Have a great night, everybody, and we'll see you again soon. Have a good night. Take care. If you want to come up, I'm sure they'd be happy to take a picture or two. Have a good night.